All right, Shalom, Brother Ra coming to you with another video. Before I move forward, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Raka Kodash. A double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone for teaching us the 100% truth according to the Bible and who rule well. All right, these videos that we do are only for the hopeful elect, which consists of you so called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, and confusion of faces. All right, now the title of this video is called No Respect of Persons. Okay, there's no respect of persons when it comes to Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. Yahweh is uh, who our people ignorantly call God. His name is Yahweh in ancient Hebrew, and Yahweh Shai is who our people ignorantly call Jesus, which is the only begotten Son. Okay, there's no respect of persons with, with the Lord, man. And the scriptures prove that, and we're going to bring that out. Okay. It says, uh, before I bring that out, let me bring out a, a, a precept that's going to lead into the to, into the lesson, all right? Because, you know, Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai is a judge, okay? All right? And uh, a judge is supposed to make the right decisions uh, and, and conclusions on, on, on a matter, right? So uh, the book of Psalm, chapter 75, verse 7, it says, But Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai is the judge. He putteth down one and setteth up another. So what is a judge? Okay, when you um, let me bring out the definition. Okay, when you bring out the Google definition, it says form an opinion or conclusion about. It says to decide. All right, to determine. All right, to consider. All right, to uh, to deem. Okay, and now these are pretty much the definitions of what judge is. It says. To bring justice, okay. Okay, it says a person able or qualified to give an opinion on something. Okay, so Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is going to form a conclusion, you know, on, on something because he's the ultimate judge, okay, on 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 people who have uh, who have done wrong, okay, or who have done right. You know, the Lord is the ultimate judge. All right, and with judging comes um, no respect of persons. So let's jump right into it. I'm gonna bring out um, Second Chronicles. Matter of fact, let me bring out Romans. So like it. the Book of Romans, chapter two, verse eleven. It says, "For there is no respect of persons with Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai." It says. For as many have sinned, verse, uh, verse 12, for as many have sinned without law shall also perish without law. And as many have sinned in law, sin in the law shall be judged by the law. It says, verse 13, for not the hearers of the law are just before Yahweh, but the doers of the law shall be justified. Okay. And then when you look into the word justify, it means to be declared righteous by the Lord. So the Lord is uh, no respect to persons, and he's the ultimate judge, you know, when it comes down to making the, the, the right decision on, on your faith, on your, on your outcome, okay? He's going to make the conclusion righteously on, on any outcome, and there's no respect to persons. There's no bias interpretation, okay? And how do we know? Because we're seeing judgment um, going out left and right, man, okay? Whether you are a, a, a child whether you are a grown up, an old person, okay, whether you are the top Instagram model, it doesn't matter what you have by Shimia was shot. Okay? And that, and that's that's scary to know that the Lord has no respect to persons and that we need to be right with the Lord. Okay? Second Chronicles chapter fifteen, verse thirteen, it says that whosoever and that whosoever is referring to you so called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans and confusion of faces. Would not seek the Lord, Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. Okay, and the Lord wants us to fear Him, to seek His ways. And that's why He has His men set up on the highways and byways. All right, doing YouTube lessons, breaking down the scriptures to tell you how um, to, and, and what to do to please the Lord. All right, but you got to seek Him. You got to be diligent in seeking the Lord. It says, Second Chronicles 15 and 13, that whosoever would not seek the Lord, power of Israel, okay, because Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai is the power of Israel, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, and only the power of Israel should be put to death. So who 
whoever in, in the nation of Israel decides not to, to seek the Lord will be put to death, point blank, simple. Okay? Because if, if, if you don't want to seek the Lord and, and keep the statute laws and commandments, which these false prophets are telling you that the law is done away with, and that's a lie, okay? And then what, what does that do? That, that causes our people to err. And what does the scripture say? The wages of sin is death. So the Lord's going to put you to death, right? Whether it be um, from a disease, whether it be from um, violent acts, whether it be, uh, you know, dying in your sleep, any, anything the Lord can do, many ways the Lord can put you to death. It says, whether small or great, now here's the point, whether small or great, okay, whether you are a, a child, or whether you are an elderly person, or whether you are um, considered small in this society, in terms of, um, you know, your ranking in, 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 in this society, okay, We're homeless at the bottom, or whether you are a rich, wealthy person. Look at all these celebrities that, uh, that, that, that the Lord have put to death, all right? Michael Jackson, Prince, you know? These are all considered great men in this society, in this worldly society. But there's no respect to persons with Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. It says, whether man or woman, and the Lord is not having mercy on any of you women, okay? Well, you women want equal rights? Well, here you go. All right. There's no respect to persons. The Lord don't give a damn if you you got a nice shape. OK, you the top model, you know, or, uh, you, you know, you, you got all the fame and glory. The Lord don't give a damn about that. You know, so there's no respect to persons. But you have by Shemel Shai. When he judges, he judges fairly. And as and as the scriptures say, uh, the book of Job, chapter four, verse seven, it says, remember, I pray thee, whoever perish being innocent. You know, the Lord has a case on all of us, you know, and that's scary to know, man. That's why the Lord wants us to fear him first. OK, fear is the beginning of knowledge and wisdom, as the scriptures say in Proverbs 1 and 7, because guess what? We're, we're all worthy and deemed of of death, man. You know, that's why the scriptures say the Lord punishes less than our iniquities deserve, because he gave us his truth and his word and he, he didn't have to. OK. So. He's given um, so-called Negroes, Latinos, Na Native Americans a second chance by bringing out, uh, you know, giving this, this word to you. OK. But anyway, going back to the scripture says, Job 4 and 7. Remember, I pray thee, whoever perish being innocent. You know, or where were the righteous cut off? OK, so the righteous are not going to be cut off. The ones who are seeking the, uh, the ways of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai are not going to be cut off, man. The Lord is going to um, take care of those and be a buckler to those who are who are seeking his ways, you know. But the ones that um, that have perished, whether man or woman, you hear about a five year old getting shot, um, you know, by by uh, gunfire. Well, yeah, how about Shemiah Washai sent that bullet for that five year old? All right. Because what the Lord has no respect to persons and that person that the Lord put to death, whether it be any person, five year old, a 10 year old, a 80 year old person look they were deemed um worthy of of of, of being put to death okay let's keep rolling in the spirit um i didn't want to make this a long lesson just wanted to bring out the fact that um the lord is there's no respect to persons with the lord man and, that, and that's a scary thing man that, that we need to be we always need to be circumspect of how we move in this world man you know and how you know the fact that our people need to seek the lord or be put to death Colossians chapter 3 verse 25 it says but he that doeth wrong okay Colossians 3 and 5 but he that doeth wrong shall receive the wrong which he have done okay now what describes um, doing wrong when the Lord gave the statute laws and commandments to the nation of Israel you so-called Negroes Latinos and Native Americans all right going against the law and the commandments is, is doing wrong all right, when the Lord told us, you know, not to um, fornicate after these idols, you know, we're supposed to not fornicate after these idols. You know, when you are worshiping JC, who our, our people call Jesus Christ, you know, that get, that goes back to worshiping man, man. Tejere Borgir, who is a reincarnation of uh, Serapis, all right, that caused our people to err, okay? And um, and for that, that's that's doing wrong, man. Okay, and so the Lord is going to what put you to death. 
Okay, eventually. It says, and there is no respect of persons. And it don't matter who you are considered in this society. There's no bias with that. You know, if you want to continue your madness, you want to continue eating pork, shrimp, crab, you know, lobster, oysters, you know, all the, 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 the animals the Lord told us not to feast upon or not to eat. Then guess what? The Lord is going to put you to death, give you some type of uh, disease or, you know, um, give you some type of heart attack, you know, because there's no respect to persons with Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. So with that being said, before I close out, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, Bashim Rakakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders, great millstone, for teaching us the 100% truth according to the Bible and who rule well. Shalom.